Our initial response, though, is just the beginning. Uh, we remain here. We will be here. We are aware of the catastrophic effects that lands rainfall and flooding are having in various parts of the state. Uh, and we look forward to standing shoulder to shoulder with our local partners as the recovery continues. We continue to monitor uh, with our federal and county partners uh, all of the natural disasters that uh, pose a, a concern to the community. We are definitely already monitoring uh, Miriam and uh, are looking at what the forecasted track is. Uh, and um, we are starting to monitor Norman. I think we all recognize that hurricane season runs from May until November, and we will continually be partners in monitoring and keeping the community safe 24 hours a day, 365 days out of the year, because that's our collective commitment and collective responsibility. Uh, September uh, is almost upon us. Uh, September is National Preparedness Month. Uh, and I ask uh, viewers everywhere and citizens of Hawaii and throughout the United States to visit ready.gov uh, to learn about life-saving training and other preparedness steps they can take to protect their families, neighbors, uh, and communities should a disaster occur. You can't compare Puerto Rico and Hawaii. That, that's apples and oranges. Um, bottom line is, is that successful emergency management response and recovery is all about unity of effort and partnerships. And you know, what I mean by that is, is that what we're striving for in all of our planning and all of our response and recovery is, is that we're striving for a system that is locally executed, state managed, and federally supported, not the other way around. FEMA is not a first responder, nor should we be the only responder going into disaster event. Uh, when it comes to, you know, Hawaii, you know, here again, what takes precedence is always, are we correctly pre-positioned, not just as a federal government, but at all levels of government, when it comes to the life safety piece. The life safety always takes precedent on everything. What we, you know, what we did coming into Hawaii was right off the bat, instead of saying how much food and water can FEMA bring in, let's assess where the wholesale grocers are right now versus where they wanna be. How many days of food are actually on the island? What can they backfill? And instead of FEMA bringing in food and water, how do we keep them open for business and keep that, that pipeline going? And if it breaks, then we bring in enough pre-positioned food to back fill any gaps that would be there. And it's not just the private sector when it comes to commodities, it's the private sector when it comes to supporting HECO, you know, the Hawaii's electric cooperatives, and how do they get back up and running? Do they have enough supplies on island? And if not, where do we need to make sure that we pre-position and get it and push it forward? So here again, it's a whole community. And the other thing is, is that we have to better utilize citizens in this. Uh, we got to stop looking at citizens as survivors only and how do we tap into citizens to be part of the solution going forward as well and so that's where we're pushing off ready campaigns and rethinking the ready campaigns that we have so a lot of thought from last year has gone into hawaii which i believe pre-positioned us very well for this for this event